Okay, so hi guys, just to let you all know that I'm going to be running a giveaway on my channel as a thank you to hitting 10,000 subscribers. Um, so right now I'm going to be giving away three separate copies of um, some Sims 4 expansion packs. It's going to be of the winners choosing. Um, however, if you do not own the Sims 4, I'll also be giving you um, the Sims 4 and a stuff pack of your choice. So there's three different ways to enter. First of all, you must be subscribed to be able to enter into the giveaway, and that is your first entry. Um, to be able to gain a second entry, you need to visit Miss Lollipop Gaming on Facebook, which will give you a link on the site. And the third entry is to follow Miss Lollipop YouTube on Twitter, which is also linked on the giveaway page. You guys can go ahead and get on that. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so hi guys, this is Miss Lollipop, and welcome back to another video from me which today we are going to be doing a CC shopping with me video. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of my favorite links um, that I normally use for clothing, for hair, um, for different ages, it'll be men's, women's. Um, and I'm just gonna go and see if there's any new CC that I haven't downloaded. So I warn you, I did go CC shopping around um, a week and a half ago, but obviously, um, since I follow so many different CC producers, um, there's probably loads of new stuff that has already come out since then. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and click through the links. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my favourite CC, and then I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys into game and show you the CC in game as well. Um, and then I'll also get you know let you guys have a look at it um, in game, and I'll put the links down in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and get any of the pieces of CC that I get. Um, you can go ahead and get those on there. So I'm probably just going to go through and download all of the ones that I like the look of for the moment with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first website I always look at is um, obviously The Sims Resource. I have my own account through them um, and I, I pay for like the VIP subscription or whatever it is, the VIP membership, just so that it looks nice and pretty. There's no advertisements and it's really easy to download. I haven't got to wait 10 seconds every single time I want to download something. I just click it and I click a download. So that is all good. I can also add everything to a basket and then go and download it all at the very end as well, which is also super, super useful. So um, let's go ahead and start having a look and let's see if we find some good pieces that are worth my download, which basically I download everything. So <laughs> just so you guys know. Um, so let's go ahead and grab this bathrobe just here that I'm actually selected. Um, I really like this because it's 3D and it almost like comes away from the character. And it looks really nice. So let's go ahead and get that downloaded. What do we got here? I'm not feeling this one as much. Mm, no, not for me. We've got some more lip colours. They look quite nice. Let's go ahead and get those downloaded as well. This swimsuit was catching my eye. I love the look of this swimsuit. Honestly, this is to die for. I would wear this in real life. I'm not even going to lie. I would wear this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that download button. Um, this one, obviously from Nightcrawler, um, who I'm pretty sure I've... Have I loaded that up? No, no, I haven't loaded Nightcrawler up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that downloaded. That bedroom looks nice, but I'm not going to cover um, furniture or anything in this video. I'm just going to cover CC in Creator Sim. That top looks nice. Mm, am I ever going to use that though? Probably not, no. I would definitely use this jumpsuit though. That is a cute as hell jumpsuit. Go ahead and download that for me. <laughs> Literally spent my whole entire time downloading everything on this page. That's a nice dress, this cami dress. Looks really, really nice, like tied up at the at the neck. I kind of want to download that and see what that looks like in game as well. Oh, wings, new hair. Oh, babe, look at this hair. Oh my god, can you? Are you looking? Can you see this? Can you see this? I'm downloading it. <laughs> Ooh, this Emily hair from Li uh, Leah Lilith is really, really nice. I'm probably gonna go ahead and download that. Looks like it comes in some nice colours as well. Ooh, these Givenchy ones are giving me life. I hope they look as good as they look on the characters in game. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a try as well. Right, okay, so I think I'm gonna leave it here for the Sims 4, re uh, the Sims 4 resource because I've already been through like 21 pages. So I think I've got enough from this website. So let's go ahead and jump right into the next one. I'm probably gonna do Ellie simple first. Okay, so I'm currently a Patreon on her account, which obviously you guys can't receive everything that's on here um, because some of them will be early access but a lot of this if it is currently available i will obviously link it in the description so for these ones 
Um, I actually really like both of these. I like the um, I like the belted boyfriend jeans and I like the turtleneck. So I'm going to go ahead and download both of those a second. So these are mega share downloads. We don't need to grab anything more from Ellie Simple. So that's good. We're all done on that website. Okay, so we've got those downloaded. So next up is Dart77, which as I was saying a second ago, um, I, you know, use their website. So, or use his or hers web well i'm assuming it's a he um or they um i use their website anyway so let's go ahead i don't think i've got any of these ones so i'm gonna go ahead and get these we've got some jeans we've got a scarf and we've got some old boots which i really like the look of all of these things in game or at least the way the dart 77 makes all of their cc so i'm just gonna go ahead and download them all because they all look hella cute and we are all done on there so let me just move that all the way to the end which one should we do next? Oh my god, actually, let me do Simply Pixelated. Simply Pixelated has started uploading CC again. Oh, I'm living for this, okay? Um, so, um, what did I want to do? So, right now, I've really only got these hairs just here from Simply Pixelated. I actually wanted to go ahead and download these ones, which I'm going to need to go ahead and download the mesh. So, I wanted to grab these. Um... That's actually nice, this overlay that you've got on there, but that's fine. Um, I wanted to download this as well. And then some new hairs that they have made. This one here, which is a, obviously a retexture and of this little short one here. So we'll go ahead and download all of those because I live. Okay, so that is simply pixelated finished. So Lumi Sims, I think, had some new CC when I was just on there. When I was doing my last CC shopping, uh, sorry, my last CC video that I've done. So, for example, this little top just here is now available. So, we can go ahead and download that. This fancy hoodie, which looks really nice. It has like a like a bit like sort of done up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and download that because these always look super nice in game. Okay, perfect. So, we're done with Lumi Sims. So, next up will be um, whatever is trending on um simdom so i just go in here and i click trending and i make sure that i have a look through here because these are all the you know the most the downloads on here that are or, you know the ones with the highest downloads so i always make sure that i go ahead and download these if i like the look of anything so for example this hair looks super cute for example um this hair as well what else have we got that's a cute turtleneck dress. I like the look of that one as well. Let me check if that's see-through. We'll probably will end up downloading that though. Uh, these, this hair looks super nice as well. I don't think I have this, so we'll make sure to grab that as well. Oh, this hair, yes. Please get that in my life. That's a cute set. Oh, that's just the bottoms. Is the top on here somewhere? I'm sure the top will be there somewhere. This outfit's cute. Okay, so we've done on the trending page, but I will want to go back in just a second um, to go through some of the actual um, the lists that they've got on there because they've got quite a few new ones on the list that I would like to go ahead and download. So we'll come back to that in just a second because that is looking pretty cute. But anyways, um, Fabienne is next and they do a lot of... Um, uh, what's the word I'm trying to look for? Like hairs for children that are conversions of official hairs so this is the wings hair that we just downloaded they've done it for kids and toddlers so let's go ahead and get downloading that because they look super cute i mean look at that please yes honey there's a new male hair they have a new hair up here uh which is quite nice which actually i'd probably use for um either kids or toddlers because it does look pretty cute on the kids and toddlers so we need the original mesh and then the kids and the toddler version this hair just here looks really nice so i'll go ahead and download that as well could always have more kids for um or could always could always have more kids <laughs> could always have more hair for kids and toddlers because there is never enough i tell you that for sure so this hair i'm not feeling too much this i don't think i've actually got just yet so i need to get that but i do have the original version so that is fine for these ones what else have we got we've got a little boy's hair just here obviously download kids and the toddlers version so back to this we've got um cute clothes for teens okay well anyways i like the look of this so i'm gonna go ahead and download that that looks pretty cute i'll go ahead and download that that would be good for my get famous series this like nice long dress but i've actually yeah i want to download it <laughs> I want to see the worst with this. I, I can't tell myself when to stop. I can't tell myself no. I just 
I just want to download absolutely everything. I am honestly the worst type of person, but I love it and I feel good about myself. Okay, so just leave me alone. <laughs> this crop top is everything and I love these little off the shoulder sides. So download and onyx sims is a place where i get a lot of my children's cc they actually have some new stuff so they've got some new sandals um some dresses and some raincoats and i think yeah i've already got i've already got that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and get these downloaded and again obviously i'm gonna show you all of this stuff in game Not working for me but this looks cute though this sort of looks like a rendition of the one that i just went to go download and a cute little sparkly choker as well, that looks nice. Um, I think I am probably done. Yeah, I think I'm done for this page. So let me go ahead and download everything in the background so you guys don't have to sit here and watch me download everything. A FF something converts. I don't know, I can't remember from a long time ago and there were so many games like I've played it. Moogle pie toddler costume. And there's a toddler in that? That is horrifying, scary. I mean, like, it's amazing CC, like, the actual quality of it, but horrid. I would never put my small toddler child in there. That would, no. That's that's a no from me. Okay, so last one, because I've already clicked off of um, Lana CC, because I've already been through there and found enough from there. Um, I've gone ahead and found this hair just here, which I don't actually have. This is actually a retexture from Shiny Dim Sims. So I'm going to go ahead and download the mesh and also download the... Um, download the recolor as well. And then I think I am probably finished. So I'm going to go ahead and take you guys into Create a Sim to um, stick all of this CC on a sim. And let's go have an... Uh, oh my god. Let's go ahead and have a look at some of the um, CC that I have gone ahead and downloaded. So I will see you guys in game in just a second. Okay, so first up we're going to start off with women's hair. So we have a little base sim just here who I actually just pulled off of the gallery. Um, so here she is. I've obviously taken out all my CC so right now she's looking a little bit bare. But that's okay because obviously we're going to test out some hairs um, and test out you know, some other bits, some clothes and things. Obviously I wanted to make sure that my game was completely free so that we were only looking at the things that came um, that I downloaded. So this is the first hair. So I really, really like this. I like the braids at the top. That's really light, uh, really nice. I like the little baby hair and this actually comes in a few different color options as well. The brown's super nice. Even the, even the colored ones are quite cool as well, which is super cute. And then it comes in a different option just here. It's a slightly different retexture version, which this one is actual braids and these ones sort of look like like dreadlock braids and I don't, I don't know if I'm getting that right but either way um, both of them look super cute and they're gonna make my game um, or be really good for my game um, to sort of um, you know change ethnicity and things like that so so this is a retexture of this hair just here so they're exactly the same but this one is a retextured version and as you can see we've got some really really nice color options just here and um, we've also got that really really nice ombre effect that simple pixelated is so well known for um, I really, really like the look of this hair and it comes in loads of different options. So this one's definitely going to have to stay in my game. And then we've got this one just here, which again is a retexture of this one just here. And again, I really, really like this. I always like Simply Pixelated hairs. I do not care. Um, honestly, they're probably some of my favourite hairs I've seen, but obviously because they stopped making CC for a while at least. Um, you know that we haven't had too many but in terms of the quality they are super nice and again they come in loads and loads of colours. So the next one is just this here which is a retexture from Sim Dim Sims of this hair just here. So this is the original and then this here is the retexture. So um, I like the colour. I do really like that. I just have one issue. This bit. I don't know if it's just me. But this looks very, very fake at the top. It almost looks like a wig, like it's stuck on. Um, and I'm not really feeling that look. I mean, it's got some really, really nice options. Um, Sim Dim Sims has already got loads of nice options, but like these colors, for example, are super nice. But personally, I'm not feeling this whole look. This one is Nightcrawler's hair. And again, I really, really like this. I like the way it frames the face and this almost tucks behind the ears. 
um, that looks really nice in game. Um, again, it comes in some really nice options. It goes all the way to a dark brown, all the way to a black. Um, and we've got some really nice other colours as well. And there'll definitely be a retexture for this one at some point. So I really, really like the look of that one. So yeah, that one is a nice one. I'll show you the back of it as well. Just a simple little bob. Very cute. And then we've got another one from Iconic. And this one is cute. Actually, there should be a, um, a little like headband that comes with it. So I don't know if it's going to be in hats. Oh yeah, it's just in the hats just here. So you can apply the little headband that comes with it as well. Um, and again, this is super, super cute. So I'm probably just going to leave it in black. This headband, I'm not so sure about myself. Um, I don't know. I just don't really... I mean, you'd have to use the headband with the hair. You couldn't... You couldn't just... Well, you could, but I wouldn't just use the hair just like that. Um, but I don't know. I'm not a fan of the headband. Uh, I'm not too sure, honestly. I'm not sure if I would keep it because I'm not sure of the headband. Let's move on to this hair just here. And this hair looks super cute in game. This one looks really, really nice. This one is giving me like Latino vibes. I'm feeling some ethnicity coming through the game with these sort of hairs. Um, I'm really, really liking the look of these hairs. I really, really like them in the darker colors, especially with the, you know, the little bit of light that's on them. I prefer, I prefer this one over this one. I feel like this one looks a lot faker. This one looks a lot more natural. But they look really, really nice on the sim, and I like the whole texture that it has. So that is definitely a keeper in my game, at least. Um, so we'll head to Simply Pixelated Hairs, and these are retextures of these two hairs just here. So obviously the original meshes, this one is from Nightcrawler, and I'll go ahead and show you that one. And then the other Nightcrawler hair, which is the braids. And again, this is a mesh from Nightcrawler. And then Simply Pixelated version. Ooh, okay. So this is nice. Mmm. That is really nice. I can see myself using that. I really, really like this ombre colour, like from one colour to another. I think that looks really nice. I really like the sim that they've styled it on. Um, so I probably will end up keeping this in my game just because I, I want to make like loads of different sims that I feel like come from different ethnicities and sort of include more in my, in my game, if that makes sense. So I'll definitely, definitely see myself using some of these hairs. Uh, next up is this one here, which again is simply pixelated. It is a retexture. Um, personally, I'm not feeling this one. I don't think it's going to stay in my game. It's quite flat on the Sims hair, um, on, on the Sims head. I actually preferred the original version. Um, I feel like it's a bit less flat. Um, although this one is a little bit more, I don't know, this one's more like like a dreadlocks and this one's more like a braid. I don't know, I just prefer the original over this one. Uh, um, and then we've got Nightcrawler's hair just here as well. This one is super nice, these braids. Um, I really like just the, even just the original mesh. It looks super nice in game. I'm really, really liking that. And then this is the retexture version, which again is like a braided version. And this one is probably going to stay in my game just because I like having both different versions, like the dreadlocked version and the braided version. Um, and I really, 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 really like the look of this in game. I, I like that a lot. So that's definitely going to stay here. So next up is just this one from Redhead Sims. And oh, oh, I am a fan. Oh, oh yes, that is a bit of me. That is a bit of me. That and the clips that come with it. Oh yes, that is, that is a bit of me. That's a bit of me. That is a vibe. That is a look, look at that. That is incredible. I really, really, really like the look of that. So I am pretty, pretty impressed. So uh, next up is just this one here. So this one is like a tighter braid. Um, and it sort of looks a little bit like this one, except a little bit higher up. Um, so let me try it in some different colors to decide if I like it or not. Now, personally, I don't. Now, the reason that I don't, I don't want to be so negative. Um, it's because these almost look stuck to the Sims head. I mean, maybe with a hairline, it wouldn't look as bad. Um, but I feel like these braids along the front of the hair is just really stuck on. Whereas these braids are 3D and just hanging from nowhere. And I mean, maybe if I put the little band back on it. Um, but that doesn't work. So no, it doesn't work with that. So 
I don't know what I would do with that. I personally, I'm not a fan. You'd have to wear a hat, to be honest, to get to cover it, but then it, it pulls it away. So no, I personally am not a fan just from the way that it looks. I think these are a little bit erratic, so. These are some um, meshes that I had to download for some children's hair, so I'm probably not gonna review these because, again, these aren't hairs that I downloaded for myself to use for women. I've just downloaded them to use for the children. Okay, so let's head over to, um, let's try the tops first, actually. Let's see if I've got any tops. Let's search by custom content. So, we've got this top just here. Now, this one isn't actually see-through, which is good because we do not want a nipple hanging out. So this is actually part of like a little set. So let me go ahead and find the bottoms to match it, which is just this one here. And she's actually not wearing any underwear and you can actually see a butt crack. Um, now these are called stay classy, which I'd probably say is the opposite of what these are. I wouldn't call them classy. Um, and personally in my game, my skins that I use actually have nipples and um, like vagina or, you know, penis looking things on them just from you know if uh, people remove the um if people remove the what do you call it remove the um pixelation so you can still see what's going on underneath there'll still be nipples so personally i'm probably not going to use this in my game because otherwise they're going to be a whole different show hanging out and youtube is going to demonetize my videos and that means your girl doesn't doesn't work so that is not i'm not about that personally but you guys can go ahead and get yourself on that and yeah stay classy <laughs> um okay so this top just here oh i'm a fan i really like this top i love this like lace detailing up the side like this zip or this um yeah this laced up detail at the side uh, and i really like this cinched in waist look i really wish i could own this in real life that is super cute very impressed we've got an off the shoulder t-shirt just here again i'm really really liking this as well Yep, I'm definitely a fan of this. Okay, so hi guys. Sorry about the break and I'm sorry if the audio quality has changed slightly because the microphone might have moved. Um, basically, the first part of this video was recorded a few days ago um, and the second part of this video is being recorded later just because I didn't get a chance to finish recording everything all at once. So yeah, just because I didn't get a chance to finish recording all at once, I had to go ahead and record it in two separate videos, which is fine. So um, let's go ahead and have a look at the second top. So we had a look at this top just here. So we've been through all the color swatches and I said that I really like this one. So let's go ahead and move on to this top just here. So I'll go ahead and pull her around. So this top is super cute. It's like a little hoodie with um, a lace v-neck front. I'm really, really liking this. This could pair really, really well with loads of different style of outfits, whether it's with high-waisted jeans or with the pair of bottoms that match with it as well. And then we have another one after this. Um, and again, I think the same thing about this one. Although I would like a recolor of this because I personally don't really like pattern tops that look like this. I'd much rather have maybe pinstripe tops or just plain like this one. But over in, um, or all in all, um, I really, really like the top and I would love to see somebody recolor this and I'd definitely download some recolors for this top as well which there probably already is some out there already so um and this one is super cute actually i really like this this would be really nice with a pair of jeans or even with like a you know a high-waisted skirt or something um, and it's got like a little rib texture in it really really nice i'd wear this in real life so <laughs> i think that's why i really like it in the sims um and then this top just here which is um like a little way i'm describing it i don't know like a like a crop top but it you know it's quite high neck um, and it's very straight and it had buttons up um i think i do like it actually i like it in a lot of the colors i'm i just don't think i'm a fan of it in this color specifically um but i am a fan of it in the red i like it in the black as well um and i think that will go again really nicely with certain outfits um but it's not my favorite out of everything that we've been through so Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the full body and let's go ahead and see if we've got anything in here for the women. So we have this dress just here and oh my god, this is beautiful, honestly. Crazy insane. I love the detail on the bottom, that's so nice. I love the way it sits, you know, just resting on the on the boobs. Um, you know, it looks like there's gonna be a nip slip there, like I would be sincerely worried. However, it's the Sims and 
all clothes just stay in the exact same position luckily so we won't have to worry about any nip slips but in terms of the colors they're absolutely gorgeous i'd love to use this on one of my sims in my get famous let's play because i think this is perfect for it but um it could also be nice as a wedding dress as well i mean like you know, like if you're a bit risky like that and you want, you know, all of that on display, that's fine because, you know, everything else is covered. So I think that is really, really nice. And next up, we've also got this little um, nighty as well, which is really nice, actually. Um, I, I, I'm trying to figure it out, you know, like I really do like it. It's just a bit strange how these sort of poke up like directly out like this. I kind of like they maybe sat more flush to the skin, but all in all, I think it's a really, really cute nightie, and I definitely use it on a lot of my sims. I think it's really nice. I love the satin material that it uses and the little stringy bits that go over the sim. And this would be really cute on some of my teenagers that I've got in my game. Um, it comes in a few different colors as well, so you can get it with or without the writing on the front. It comes in black, it comes in a, you know, a few bold colors. But all in, yeah, but I keep saying but all in all, oh my god, it's so annoying. <laughs> but we can use this definitely in the game. And I think I'm going to keep this as well because I will eventually find some way of using this on my sims. I like to keep loads of different custom content in my game. Because there's eventually going to be a time when I am going to look back and I'm going to be like, hmm, I really want to use this. So I'm going to keep it in the game until I use it. And then what I normally do is go and give a refresh. And I go through all of my game and basically just delete anything that I haven't used in a while. And then I'll give it a clean out. So for the moment, most of this stuff really is going to go in the game. And then I can decide if I'm, if I'm not using it or not. So next up is this one by Stay Classy. So this is actually really nice. Um, I do like this in the white and the black. Um, I think, yeah, I think that looks really, really nice, actually. I would definitely use this. I love the different colour swatches. Colour swatches? Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> the colour swatches it comes in. Um, and I think it's really, really nice. Um, I'd use it in a lot of these different colours that it comes in. Um, but, yeah, I really, really like it in this colour as well. This velvet brown with the with a black top underneath. And I like the little detail on the arms as well. Really cute. Definitely use that. Next up is this long dress and it is a um, halter neck um, and I do actually really like it. Um, I think it would look nicer on maybe some of my curvier sims. Um, I have a few of them that I could pair in mind with this but in, you know, in total I think this looks really really nice and I love the detailing on the dress and again I think it's really usable. You can use that really easily as a formal dress um, and I think that would be really really nice in the game. Um, so we've also got this jumpsuit just here for women. Um, this is nice actually. I really do like this. Um, I like the bold shoulders that it has, like the box shoulders. Because um, it sort of, it, it becomes very businessy, if that makes sense. Very, um, I don't know, like, like forward. I don't know. I just, look, the point is, I like it. Okay, that with a pair of, um, you know, shoes with a red heel, you know, like blue batons. Um, yes, definitely, I would say. Definitely yes for that. Uh, next up, we've got this little robe just here, and I actually really do like this. I think that'd be really nice for maybe one of Yuki's outfits for my Get Famous Let's Play. She would definitely wear something like this, or maybe just an evening, um, not an evening, maybe just um, like a sleepwear outfit for some Sims. Um, I really like this one down here with the with the you know the um, the birds on the side. Um, and I really like the detailing of it as well. So good, good pick. Uh, we've also got a pair of swimming um, or like a swimsuit. Um, and again, I I like this. The only thing that I'm not set on is the um, top of the outfit, um, which again, I would still keep this in my game because I do really like this, but I'm just not 100% on the way that the top sits on the sim. I'm not really a fan of when their under boob hangs out of the bottom of the top. Um, it's just me personally, I wouldn't wear that in real life, so that's fine. But my sims, they're a little bit more risky than I am, so I'm going to leave it to them. Um, and we can let them wear this. So I'm going to keep this in my game because this is really nice. And the colour swatches, again, um, are super cute. So, and we've also got this one just here. And this is a really, really cute little dress. Um, I do like it. I think this would be really nice for some party outfits, so I'm probably going to keep it in the game. I like it in the darker colours personally, I'm not the biggest fan of this texture in the light colours. So next up is our bottom, so let me just make sure that we're filtering by custom content. We've got a few different ones here. So we've got this just here, which is a set of Givenchy um, jogging bottoms, which are really nice. And it comes in a few different colour swatches as we had a look at. 
And again, all of these are really nice. Um, I definitely find somewhere for my Sims to use this. We've got a set of off-white ones. Sometimes my set, like certain Sims, will have a certain, certain, certain. Am I, am I okay? Um, certain Sims will have a look to them, and you'd want to use these with maybe like a little crop top or a little bandeau top. Um, so I've got to keep it in the game for when I get that style of Sim that I need to use it for. So this one was the one that we obviously already had a look at, and I said that's not gonna stay in my game because she's basically naked. Um, this one is the set to the top, so I tell you what, let me go ahead and grab the top and I'll put that on her so you guys can see the set together. Um, so the top for this one just here is there. This is a cute little lounge loungewear outfit, but again, can be styled completely differently. You could pair the top with the different bottoms, but this could be cute for um, maybe athletic wear. We've also got these wide pair of shorts, which I do like. Very good for a little hot weather outfit for the Sims, I'm liking it. Pair that with a little cute tucked in, you know, strappy spaghetti top. I like that. Very cute. Um, okay, next up is the, were they the mum jeans or the boyfriend jeans? I can't remember from Ellie Simple, but I'm a fan. Definitely a fan. I can never really get on the bandwagon for these jeans, um, within Sims at least, because I can never find ones I think look right on the Sim. But I think these really do look perfect and I love the texture, especially all the way around the back. They're rolled up slightly. I love this texture around the crotch just here because that is very realistic because they are big and they are bagging. Um, and again, I think this looks really nice in game and I'm definitely going to find a use for them. Okay, so the last thing was in accessories and it's just this little cu uh, cute choker that I downloaded. And let me just like um, expand her neck a little bit. Um, it works with any size of neck, so that's good. It, you know, it's not going to cut off, but I think it, it looks like it breaks a little bit just here when the neck is a little bit too wide. So I suggest making the neck a little bit smaller if you're going to wear this so that it sort of blends in really nicely around the edge like that one. So let's go ahead and grab a Mal Sim so I can show off some of the Mal um, CC that we've gone ahead and downloaded. Okay, so I went ahead and grabbed uh, Darian Hayes, which was on the gallery. So if you guys want to go ahead and download him, he'll be on now. Uh, let's go have a look at maybe some hairs that I got for men. And let's see what we've got in the option of hairs. Okay, so we've got a few different hairs for men. So we've got this hair just here. So let me take his hat off. Um, there we go. We've got this hair just here by Wings. And I think this is really, really nice in game. Um, I definitely would highly recommend downloading this. This is super cute. We've got some, we've got some browns. You know how much I love a good brown. Okay, like I was complaining because Wings hasn't been doing many different browns. Um, but we we do like we do like a good chocolate brown on now. Um, and then we've got a few different blondes. Obviously, there's loads of different colored blondes. We've got some greys, which again, you know, certain Sims suit grey um, quite a lot. Actually, I think I do. I do really like this. I like this texture detail around the edges of the hair. Um, I just, I'm not a fan of curtains personally, but um, I can work with it. Obviously, there'll be certain sims where it would suit them. You know, you might want to put a hat on them maybe. Um, and it, you know, it looks a little bit better with a hat um, if you've got like a certain style of sim. Like that one just there, I think that looks really nice. But over and all, I think that is a really nice hair. And again, comes in loads of different colours, so we've got some blondes. I'm more of a fan of it in the brown, I don't like the colour that or that textured blonde, but that in a retexture maybe, and I'd probably be on that in blondes, so. Next up is from the same creator, and it's just a slightly different style, so as you can see, it keeps the base of this hair, and it just changed the top area. Um, and again, I really, you know, I feel the same way about this one. Um, although, I'm not the biggest fan of this, like, parting up here, it's a bit... Bit, mm. But again, as I said, you can get this into wear a hat, and also there's hairline details in the game as well. So it's probably going to stay in my game. I'll eventually find a use for it, even if I pair it with some sort of hat or something like that. And then we've also got a little scarf just here. So let me go ahead and take his hair off. Um, and he's wearing some accessories, so we need to get those off so that it doesn't glitch with that. Oh, back up to the head. There we go. So yeah, we've got this little scarf just here. And I really, really like the look of this in-game. I'm definitely going to find some use for this within my men. Um, I think, again, certain sims suit it. I'm not the biggest fan of it in these... Actually, saying that, although I think it looks blurry right up close to the sim because you're comparing this high-definition face to this sort of blurry scarf, when you zoom out all the way, it looks perfect. And I don't think there's any issue of it, you know, of it looking, you know, faded or, or blurry in-game. 
So I think that looks really nice and I think it, it, it looks really well done. Okay, so we've got um, two tops from a Dart... I don't know if it's Dart 77 or Dart A 77, but anyways, we'll just leave it. We've got this one just here, which is a little... Um, like cardigan with a t-shirt underneath and a set of suspenders and this actually looks perfect with these style of jeans because it looks like it's attached to the belt just there but again i really really like this i pretty much like all of um dart 77's outfits for men's i put i've got everything that they own in my game so far so again this is probably just going to add to the collection i love love this top with the design on the front i think the person who makes these you know dart 77 or you know whoever if it's just one person or a group of people they are very very good at making cc and i think you should go ahead and grab all of them in cc because again it looks it looks perfect in game it looks really really nice in game and there's loads of uses for it and i've also got this one just here which is the exact same except without the cardigan no no full body outfits and then bottoms we've got one pair of jeans from dart 77 and again, obviously, I am always a fan favourite of all of their stuff that they make within the game. And it comes in a few different colours, so I'm definitely going to keep these in my game. And find a use for these as well. And they sort of just bag a little bit at the back as well, so that's super cute. Um, and then for shoes, we have those pair of boots. Which, these are very workman boots, which I'm a fan of. I can definitely find a use for these on, you know, grungy sort of outfits. Um, also, if you've seen uh, Daniel from my Get Famous Let's Play, he definitely wears some sort of outfit that's based around here. So again, super cute. I'm a fan. Um, and I, yeah, I definitely would find some use for it. And you could also add the little dirtied ones as well if you're going to put them outside to work. Okay, so I realised I forgot this one lipstick for women. So I've gone ahead and gone back to it just now. Um, and here is the lipstick just here. And um, I do like it. I do. I do like it in specific colours. I think it might be the shape of The Sims lips that I'm just not a fan of. It looks a little bit square at the bottom. So maybe if we just rounded them out a little bit, maybe a bit like that, then I'm more of a fan. But all in all, um, I really like it and I like it in the darker colours more so than the lighter colours. But I could definitely find some use for this in my game. Ignore the fact that she has no eyebrows. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I do like that lipstick. So that's definitely a good option for us to go with. There we go. Okay, you love some good toddler CC. So um, we haven't got any skin details, but we have got some hairs. So we've got this hair just here, which is a, um, like a, uh, a conversion from the adult hair to the children's hair. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep this in my game because I feel like I haven't got enough textured um, toddler's hairs within the game and again I'm pretty sure before I said I like this hair anyways and I think it looked really nice with the braiding in it so I'm gonna keep that within my game to use on again um, different styles of sims so I've got more um, options to use in game and again it comes in all the same color options I've also got this little braid just here which obviously we downloaded um, in the adult version to be able to use it on the children and I think that looks really really nice I like it in the darker colors I'm not the biggest fan of how like see-through it looks at the top, but if you've got some toddler um, hairlines, I think that, that could really work. Um, and although it's a little bit shiny, um, I do think it looks really, really nice in game, and I'm definitely going to keep that because the more toddler hairs, the better. What can I say? <laughs> um, and next up is just this hair here, which again, I'm going to keep within the game. The same texture really as this one, um, but comes in a few different colours. And again, super, super cute. Um, and it's just a re, re, um, or a conversion from the adult hair to the children's hair. So that will be staying within my game. This one just here, oh my god, my favourites, because these are from, or this one specifically is from Nightcrawler. Um, and this is a hair that you can use within your game on the toddlers and children. And I think it is perfect. Oh my god, I'm such a fan. Yep, I love, 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 love. I find that perfect and I'm definitely going to use that within the game. Really, really like that. Definitely a fan. So that is good. We'll use that. Next up is just this hair just here. And it, oh my God, she looks so cute with that hair. This hair is going to stay, honestly. I don't even know why I'm questioning it. Like... This hair is super cute on a toddler and it, I'm definitely going to find some use for it. It has a few little issues, you know, like just here and a little bit just here. 
But to be honest, when you're in game, you're never going to see these things. I'm, you know, there's no need to be overcritical in creator sim because honestly, the time when you take it into game, anyways, um, you're never going to notice any of these issues. So let me go ahead and put this hair back on her just because I think this is my favorite hair. Um, and let's go ahead and see if we've got any other custom content. So I think we might have some full body outfit, which is just this one here. And this is super cute, actually. This is a little denim skirt and a little uh, shirt tucked in. And this looks really, really nice. I could find some uses for this within my game through my toddlers. And again, you always need more toddler outfits because of my 100 baby challenge. <laughs> and I like the fact that all my toddlers look very different. So that's definitely going to stay there. Have we got any bottoms? for? Uh, this is for girls, isn't it? Yeah, so no, nothing for there. And any shoes? Oh, we've got some shoes. Okay, so... We've got this set of sandals just here. That is super cute. These are all from Onyx Sims, which is pretty much where I get all my toddler CC from anyways. And comes in a few different color options. So obviously they're going to stay. Um, we've also got these little booties just here, um, which are perfect. I love the shine on them, the little zips on the side. And again, comes in a few different color options. They'll be staying. And these adorable little flip flops. Oh my God, totally staying. These are so cute and again, loads of different colours. Onyx Sims is a bay for Toddler CC. So go ahead and get downloading them if you need some more Toddler CC. Um, so in terms of the options for boys, we've got that conversion of the hair that I really liked for the guys. And again, super cute on the children. Um, I think it looks really, really nice on the on the toddlers as well, as well as it looks on the um, adults. So I'm such a big fan and again, all in the exact same colours. And also these ones are just here, which we already looked at, conversions of um, the adult hair to the children's hair. And again, really like this on the toddlers. I'm definitely going to keep that hair within my game so that I can use the toddler versions as well. And we've also got this cute little set from Onyx Sims. And oh my God, is this not a blessing within your game? Look at this, look how cute he is. That is crazy how cute this is. I love, love a good outfit for toddlers and I never have any that have like a coat attached to them. So this is super cute. That's an adorable little outfit. And I'm definitely going to use that on some of my male um, toddlers within the game. So again, exactly the same um, hair options for the boys um, because we downloaded the child versions as well. So I'm not going to go ahead and show you these in depth. I'm more just going to sort of scroll through them so you guys can see that they still look just as good on the children as well. Um, and again, exactly the same color option. So they're going to stay in my game to be able to use between you know, children and toddlers and the adults. And then we've got some different hairs in here. So we've got, again, the retexture of the other hair on the little girl, which again is going to stay on here because I really like that hair on both the adults and the toddlers and the children. We've also got the other conversion of that hair, which again, it's also going to stay within the game because I, I do like that and I've got to find some use for it. We've got this little braid just here, which again, exactly the same. As long as there's a hairline, I would definitely use this. I've got my favorite hair of all, the Nightcrawler conversion. Oh my God, to die for. Guys, go ahead and download this because this is perfect within your game. And then we've also got this one just here, which is the little um, fringe uh, ponytail to the side. And again, I really liked it on the toddlers and I really like it on the children as well. Okay, so I think I've covered everything in this video, everything that I've currently downloaded. It's not the biggest CC shopping haul, but I wanted to make sure I went ahead and showed you guys some of the sites that I grabbed my CC from, which again, I've got a series running alongside this um, about my favorite CC creators, which you guys should go ahead and check out those videos um, in the description because I will link them for you, which is basically showing you um, my favorite custom content creators for women's CC. So if you want to go ahead and have a look through some of the examples of hair, clothing, makeup, all of those different things. I've linked them all in the description below. Or oh, sorry, link the video where I cover all of those in the description. Um, so go ahead and jump on that. And again, all the links to these sites, so you, guys, you guys can go ahead and download everything that I've showed you um, that I've downloaded. You guys can go ahead and grab yourself as well. I think that's everything from me. So as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like on the video. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And if you wanted to subscribe, obviously that would be awesome. Go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. And then next to it, go ahead and hit the little notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a video and you'll never miss an upload from me. And yeah, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. Bye guys.